Bayern Munich and the English Twitter feed uh, for Bayern Munich made the point that they're still haunted by those kids. I mean, I think they're just, I guess, are being a bit glib, but, you know. Can't change the result now, can they, Darren? Well, actually, no, they Back can't. Back in vision, you know, camera so too. to be part of that, that fantastic team and that journey as an 18-year-old or was, uh, was at the time there. But I think, um, yeah. You know, we can't afford the grips, but we could afford a cab to Eaton Park. Season, Check this out. Clips well, so, on standby. Um, they, they Take that down, the camera two, if you want to. It was a, a huge win for Norwich in the Olympic Stadium. The only team ever to win, uh, win there from England in European competition. And uh, Jeremy Goss. With that wonderful goal, which, yeah, we haven't got the footage, but we did a few years ago go out and recreate it at Eaton Park. And you can have a look there at it. There we go. Freddie Newman and Robin Twelve forward. And oh, oh, we're not going to have the audio on it. Oh, sorry. Oh, we've lost it. Oh, well, That's there we it. go. Well, maybe we'll get yeah. it back in a, in a moment. And actually recreated that about, what was that, 20 years later he did that, so we can still do it, can't he? Although it did it take was, about 40 takes. We got time to take it. Was 40, <laughs> <laughs> the goalkeeper no, was particularly dodgy. Is that you? Yes, yeah, I'm happy. I just made sure I ducked my head. <laughs> <laughs> Eaton Park's never looked so good. Michael was in goal for that, Darren. occasion, and, and to, to, to see him doing that again any time, and to hear him talk about it as well. I think when you, I've said to a lot of guys before, when you, when you experience moments like that, when you then kind of recreate them later on and talk about them, you talk about them and you see them on the telly because you kind of lose that sense of actually doing it on the pitch because you're so used to seeing it on the telly that you kind of talk about it and then see it that self from that view. It's a bit odd, really. I was a better goalkeeper, I think, than um, Dizzy Penalty Taker. It's probably, yeah. I'd say you were close. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, and the other thing we wanted to touch on, which we didn't quite get around to doing while David uh, Lee was sat alongside us, was the remarkable sight of Mr Lee while at Craven Cottage on Tuesday night being on the pitch to do dizzy penalties, the foul on the floor challenge at half time. It's part of the uh, Fulham uh, half time entertainment. Why wouldn't we started it? Started a train, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're obviously going to take all the credit for that. But uh, we can see. Uh, cool. There you go. That's enough. Uh, Bill's. The footage from Craven Cottage. There he is. Here he is. Yay. Um, it's a slow start. <laughs> He's it's in the gallery slow. watching this. It's, it's a slow start. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if David's dizzy quite yet, but there we go. He's up. I think the idea was to dribble past the mascot. The, the goal's really small. Yes. Twenty seconds on this. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone for it. Oh, he's gone for it. He then does. I think managed to get it past the mascot. I don't know if maybe. Ten seconds. Sadly, there was a Fulham fan who went on to win, um, win, win the prize. Coming out on but, um, camera two, I'm hoping James three, going to put together a whole Hong two, Kong team to take on the Fulham for ah, challenge, which of course you can all enter at uh, sportsmuscletv.co.uk. That's got massive legs. Not makes a school way out of that. Okay, I'm chilling. Oh, <laughs> That's just because you're top of the league, that's the problem. Uh, thanks as always uh, for all your calls, tweets and posts. And don't forget, if you want to get involved in the future, then get in touch via the Pinkin or Mustard TV Twitter and Facebook pages, the Pinkin.com message board, or send us an email to sports at mustardtv.co.uk. So it's back to Carrow Road on Saturday and Preston next for the Canaries, who are proving to be pretty useful at Carrow Road. Roll me tea. Good job. Thanks, like, wow. Sorry about the clip, I totally didn't realise you didn't want to sound there, I boosted the rest of it. Right, so to be fair, I thought the last thing that was said was we weren't having the clip of BBC, but I'm not going to keep the audio, and then you said, be it on your head. So it sounded like... Yeah. yeah. But I know, then after that we said, okay, okay, yeah, we were going to commentate over the top of that. Oh, yeah, we didn't hear that. Sorry, I totally didn't hear that, sorry. One minute on this. Not a big gas, yes. Um, and that was all the clip that we only had five seconds of that clip, Michael. Just so you know. So, coming out on camera two, because we've got a chat. In about 30 seconds. Comforts for Norwich then. And mix so yes, home comforts for Norwich, I guess. Um, I was kind of worried that we'd see a repeat of how Norwich did in the Championship under Alec Neil before, where they'd be great away from home and maybe struggle at home, but be good for the offset. You want well, to be your home to be to be the place we live, especially in front of your home fans. But I think um, it, again, we just kind of try and look at the bigger picture of it all. I think, and if you 
if you, as a fan, if you didn't watch any games, didn't look at any results, but look at the table at the end of every month, then you'd be fairly happy where they're sitting now. I think that's, that's the way to look at it. That last stat at the end there, Preston have conceded fewer goals than Norwich City. What we've been saying all season. <laughs> <laughs> it just puts it into context. Pre season, that last season. season. Yeah. 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 I don't know, a few teams in the bottom half have conceded less than we have this season. It is, it is a bit of a concern. But Got just over four minutes left, so you might want to start getting to the fixtures. This is their second season back in the Championship, Preston. So, and Simon Grayson was under a bit of pressure, wasn't he, at the start of the season, but they, yeah. they've turned it around.